The following program is being brought to you by Loving's Moon, Tim and Jerry's Auto Sales, Garden Bowl, American Gratitude, Patrick Dugan's Coffee House, and Triple A Loans and U Haul. Three friends decided one day that they should start a podcast. They really knocked it out of the park with that idea. A Power Surge Media Production. Here they are, JB Surge, Snipes, and Can Equip Girl, Uncaged. That's right, it is Uncaged, episode number 35. Welcome in, thanks for joining us, whether... Wherever, however, whenever you may be joining us, yeah, yada, 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 Google Podcasts, Podbean, Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio, Pandora, it's no big deal, Uh, Stitcher as well, and of course, uh, not Apple, because what? They suck. They're a bunch of whores. (laughs) Uh, So, anyways, JV Sword Snipes, joining us as always, and officially, our official third co-host, Can't Equip Girl. Woohoo, I'm here. Yes, you are here. Get, okay. Like I said, get close to that mic. It's yeah. Okay, it's sorry. The mic. I'm no. here. Yeah. Yay. That's Number how 35. you do that. Yes. Number 35, yeah. Well, where are we? Yeah. We're not at the bar. We're not at the bar. We're not no, even no, in our home not. home studio. We are not even on the patio for that matter, but we are, uh, we're not live because we're not running any live, but uh, we're at Clint Leitner Field here in Garden City, Kansas, home of the Garden City Wind. And the Garden City Buffalo. And the Garden City Buffaloes, yeah. And the Garden Finney County Blues and all that good stuff. A bunch of other people. Yeah. The, it's an off night for the Garden City Wind. Actually, not an off night. They're actually... Travel day. They're, they're, yeah, they're in Trinidad. Yeah, I was going to say, they're in Trinidad, aren't they? Uh, playing. So, uh, there's nobody here at the ballpark, just us. But since all your equipment is here to do the podcast, is here because you do the announcing and the music and everything for the Garden City Wind. Stats and scoreboard. and Yeah. Sta- yeah. So, we ended up just decide let's... Let's do a podcast since it's been, what, a month? It has almost, almost. been almost a month. Our yeah. last yeah. upload, which, uh, of course, was with our cover music episode that was uploaded on June 19th. And today wow. we're recording it on July 12th. So Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's, wow. it's, it's been a while. It's been a so while. We're g- this is going to be informative? Yeah, this is kind of, kind of a nut. We're going to kind of give you guys an update of what's, going, what's been going on. Those of you that didn't listen to episode number 34 but are just now tuning in, uh, we've been, of course, we've had this break because the Garden City Wind have had, pl- we've played a lot of home games. We just finished up a 13 game homestand, and now we're, tomorrow begins an 11 game homestand. Woo-hoo! So, Yay. yeah, it's a lot of baseball here <laughs> at Clinton Lightner Field. And, of course, uh, yeah, uh, Can't Equip Girl has not missed a game yet. Not um, yet. Nope. Snipes has, though, because yeah. stuff. And, but uh, he will be here tomorrow night. Yeah. So he'll be I'll here. I'll be here. After his little job interview, I, I, got, I got a job interview. Is his oh, second cool. his secondary job? I guess I should yeah, say it's yeah. not. I'm my, not leaving my primary his job. Primary this job with the radio station. Something right. to do on the side. Yeah, exactly. So, but I mean, uh, just a couple, just we're gonna of course run through some the, some of the new changes. First of all, you already heard one of our old our new changes here is our new intro. We officially, like I said, we officially welcome Candy Quick Girls, our third co host. Yeah, thank you. And I know you're, we you're, couldn't you're, get rid of her, so we had to have yeah, her. Oh, had to, come had, on. had to absorb. You guys suck. Just had to absorb <laughs> her. I know it's awful, but no, just we, kidding. Yeah. So, and yeah. once again, mm. uh, like our, like we've always been uh, using Sandy White Dragon Box Media. Out of Wichita. He's been he's been awesome with us. Sent us that uh, new intro over the break. So finally got it uh, uploaded. And we have snacks. Well, yeah, and we have snacks. We have snacks. <laughs> That's right. Uh, well, it's because we have uh, we have two radio guys and a and a guy that does everything else uh, live in house. So we have to make sure we're loaded up on the snack side. So and we're fat. <laughs> we're, we're we're a couple of fat guys up here. So. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Got the Mike and Ikes, had the hot tamales, which I think there's still more of. And then, uh, well, there better be. Yeah, and the I David, a ton of them. David sunflower seeds. Oh awesome. man. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's we a, call them fireball tamales. Yeah, the fireball Ooh, flavored tamales. That tamales. works for me. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we said that live on the radio. Even you, you said that live on the radio. These are fireball flavored. <laughs> really? <laughs> right. Really, Snipes? Really? Yeah. Fireball flavored. You're, you're a weirdo. Well, they kind of are. 
Well, that, you're the one that brought it up. I was like, oh, that's hot cinnamon. And you you, you said Oh, that's right. Flavor. I did say fire, okay. fireball flavor. Never mind. So that, like, that was yeah. my fault. Okay. That's a, all right. I'm well, not radio anymore. So I don't now, give, I'm not radio anymore. I don't give a crap. So yeah, right. So obviously, yeah. So anything that cinnamon is <laughs> fireball, fireball is amazing. <laughs> anything is cinnamon. 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 The Well, you 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 uh, uh, got a new job since I, I, we've I, last. I did. Yeah. So over the break, uh, June nine, June nineteenth. Good grief! That was a long time ago. Um, <laughs> yeah. Well, we 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 were just about getting ready to do karaoke that night, and it was after, it was the Monday after I did karaoke. The following week is when I got a call from the First United Monday. Methodist Church here in Garden City about a job there. So I'm working there nice. uh, as a communications leader. So yeah, it's uh, that's kind of that's kind of what I've been up to. I've been busy with that and the Garden City wins. So I've, I've virtually, and with, you know, thirteen game homestand and uh, having a day job is uh, taking up all of my time. And, and the fact that you still play music at the church on Sundays. Yeah. And that's the thing is that I, and I'm, upload video. I, I'm the guy. Yeah, I'm the guy that basically is in charge of all media, social media. And, and so, but th- that's the thing. I tr- I put it all together on Sunday, and yet I am still able to do. Uh, praise band, which is which is great. So, I, I like to still do that, and I, I'm able to do that. And yeah, I had to. I, I video uploading is is a different monster. I tell you what. So, uh, yeah, <laughs> it takes a long time. It takes a long time to upload a one hour long video, sometimes longer. Um, of and it's in HD of all things. So yeah, it's it takes a while. So we. Uh, uh, I spent a good hour and some after service was over uploading that. So that was just kind of a waiting game. But I get paid to yeah. I get paid to wait. So that's always <laughs> nice. a good thing. Uh, so yeah, that, that's that's what's been going on. Other things. Well, the reason why, part of the reason why we are we are doing it here live from Clinton or not live. I keep saying live. We're not live. Um, this is a recording. This My is heart's a recording. Still yeah, I'm alive. We're live. Uh, the hardest alive of rock and roll is still beating. <laughs> Part of the reason why we're up here doing That's this is that because my That's laptop good. decided that it doesn't want to be a laptop anymore. So it wants to be a paperweight. It wanted to be a paperweight. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nice. It, and it happened in the middle of a game while I was statting. So I had to catch up on the stats from the night before after I finally got. Uh, yeah. This is the computer that we actually used first to start recording. And then we started using my laptop once we started to get a little bit more mobile. Yeah, my laptop doesn't do that anymore. So the, I literally have my desktop yeah. up here, and uh, like, and the good thing about it was that uh, the fact that if they had lost that night, which did they, they won. I don't. They did. They lost. Okay, they lost. Yeah. The great thing about it that when your stats stopped, you could always update it later with a different score. That's true. <laughs> that's right. That's true. Make them that's, win. That's, could've, yeah, that's could've, right. Could've, could've I don't know. They're still actually win. doing really good. Really? Have you seen them play? Yes. I've watched them play just on point streak, and I can yeah. tell you they look bad on that. Yeah, they do look bad on that. But yeah, well, and, and the the common th- uh, we'll we'll get more to the Garden City wind here in a little bit. Uh, I wanted to uh, I'll, I'll explain my thoughts on that, but uh, part of my of course part of my new job is another another new thing that we're going to be coming up with is well, it's not new; it's kind of a removal. We're going to go ahead and deal away with our raw and cut series. So we will. We stopped at eleven, and we're going to be done there. So we, we decided that we're going to deal away, especially with my new job. I don't think they'll like the fact that I'm doing a raw and cut series of my okay. podcast. Yeah, yeah that's so, understandable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah but so it we might can, not look good. So, yeah. but we're just going to continue on with our regular episodes. We're going to have topics to cover. Uh, trust me, there's a lot more to come up. This is like we said. This is kind of an update episode. So. This is kind of something to fill you in and also to fill you up with uh, with a good podcast before we start doing them regularly again after the wind season is over. Because, uh, like I said, coming up is it's going to be ridiculous the amount of stuff we got oh, coming up. Football like season's games. coming. Oh, yeah, football season coming up. We're gonna have a uh, we're gonna have we a training camp. Season's coming. Yeah, yeah we're bowling. gonna have a training camp season coming up. Of course, uh, that's another thing is that our. Uh, we have a bowling team now, me, Power Snipes, and Kennequit Girl, along with our buddy Michael Suckup, who you uh, heard in Ronica at 7. 
he uh, we're all uh, going to be doing a we're all going to have a bowling team and of course our bowling team name Power Surge Media. So and that's uh, we're gonna have, we're gonna have shirts made With up. Which we we need to get those shirts eventually started. started. What? And two can equip people are on the team. That's as right. Well. Two can equip people, and <laughs> we're, we're trying to not say that too often. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. It's like the it's yeah. like the stepchildren <laughs> on the west side of town. What? Well, no, actually, technically, no. you guys aren't even in town anymore. No, we're not yeah. in town. Yeah. No. Technically, not. You yeah. are no. outside of city limits. So. Yeah. Yes, we are. <laughs> so, yeah. Like we said, uh, regular episodes will be coming up after baseball season, after the wind season is over, which could be sometime. Well, will be sometime. And in our August. topic will be uh, strictly the mathematical precision of aircraft. That'll be what we'll talk about. Wrong. Though. No? Oh. Your fake news. It's like, what? <laughs> huh? We're going to measure airplanes and then oh. use calculus to figure out why they fly. Yeah, I'm out. And <laughs> our listenership <laughs> just it. dropped to nothing. So Yes. Well, look at that aviation community just uh, bumped yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the aviation community of two people. Hey. Yeah. hey, hey. <laughs> I know there's more than two pilots out there. Well, yeah. The rest of them, you know, crash in the ocean near Hawaii all the time. But that's that's it. Or United Airlines, what they did, they decided to make all their pilots get the vaccination. Oh, no. And then now pilots are getting blood clots and dying. And so they're afraid to put them in the cockpit anymore. (laughs) Fly these airplanes because they could end up dying while they're flying. That's fun. Wow. Yeah. United Airlines, no longer the friendly skies. They're now the morgue skies. Morgue. (laughs) Yeah, pretty much. The crematorium of the skies. Because yeah. literally, you'll shot. blow up in a... Uh, yeah, so. that's right. So you want to make sure the cargo bay has enough room for <laughs> at least two pilots. <laughs> yes. Because that's where they'll be after they cross the ocean. So. Oh, oh, that's got what? morbid. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was going to say that's so, horrible. <laughs> anyways, no, th- we're not talking about aviation this, this episode. Our mm. episode of, well, since we're at the ballpark, we might as well talk about baseball. Baseball. <gasps> what a novel and idea. And the Garden City wind, yeah. So Should I call this one? Uh, it's a ball. It was a little outside. Yeah. Oh, wait. They called a lot of them outside. <laughs> well, yeah, even Should the strikes I? are outside. Yes. Should we talk about the umpires? Well, technically, it is outside because it's well, it out- is outside. Yeah. Side, yeah. Okay, oh, outside okay. the box. <laughs> the box. You mean the strike zone? Okay. That too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we've had our fair share of umpires that oh, uh, we certainly my. wouldn't want to see in Garden City anymore. Yeah. Uh, what, what, one is cross-eyed. One, yeah. One just doesn't care. Yeah, he doesn't. One just doesn't because we, he we knows he can't get fired. Well, that's they the don't thing. have replacement. Well, no, that's the load. Literally, is the wow. fact of the matter is is that one of the one of the umpires has admitted to uh, it was either one of our players or I believe of one of I think was it to Lance Myers or one of our, oh Roswell our, yes. our Ra- Roswell, Roswell manager has admitted the one of the umpires admitted to him is like I just don't care after oh my he was God. after he was debating a call uh, with and he's like oh, I just don't care. He's just, and, he's just there collecting a paycheck. And before that game that was supposed to be rained out with Roswell, Lance yeah. had told us the night before that there'll be times when the umpire has his back to the crowd and he'll tape his cap off like he's wiping his brow, but he's actually flipping off Lance. Oh, yeah. yeah the, the player umpire, manager. The umpire is a... Oh, my the umpire God. Is, yeah, right. And the, I wow. told him, I said, because I was going to be sitting... I, I was sitting here in the booth doing the radio, and I told him, I said, all you have to do is take off your cap and wave it and all yeah, the there was a signal the that he was, he was doing. There was a signal oh, that he wow. just yeah. that he was going to give us, and I was going to go over the line PA, and he's like, "Did that? Did that umpire really just flip you off?" You know? <laughs> yes. And the crowd would have been like, "Wait, what?" Yeah. Oh, no. the crowd. Ooh. Well, the umpire. Would umpire have been just flipped too. you off. Yeah, ladies yeah. and gentlemen of the crowd, the umpire just flipped the manager off. Right. Yeah. See how well that goes over. So anyway, yeah, I was going to announce it, but obviously it was rained out that night. Yeah, we rained out that night. That's right. And Darn it. So. I know. And now the next night, you were supposed to make an announcement for our manager as he approached. Well, Did you it, not? it wasn't the fact. I'll, I mean, yeah, well, well, I, I was, <laughs> I was going to do it that night, but then I was thinking, well, his parents were in town. Oh. So I think it would have been probably in bad taste. I was going to wait until they left town. Probably tomorrow night. I think probably tomorrow night is when oh, I was going to do it. 
And I was going to send the video to Lance, by the way. So Lance oh, and Julian Fleck. So yeah. So um, you'll have your phone up to video it. Oh yeah, and okay. it's and I'll and yeah, they'll hear me and I'll get Garrett's reaction. And uh, there's be, an inside joke between uh, Lance and Fleckenstein, Fleck with the and Roswell Invaders. Okay. And and uh, and Garrett, Garrett Toddy. Toddy. Cause because Fleck, Fleckenstein you, used and to Garrett Toddy played together in 2019. Either. Yeah, and then. Oh, okay, I and get so it now. And so there's an inside okay. joke. There was an okay. inside joke that. Uh, I was wondering. I was going to I was going to I was going to announce him as Garrett, the inside joke and Toddy, who which, you know, Garrett Toddy, which is the name of the manager. So. Right. So there'll be an inside joke in between his name. And so if you ever oh, hear okay. if you ever hear just a random thing between Garrett and Toddy, that's what it was. Uh, that's it the, was the inside joke. joke. And I'm I like, haven't. Uh, yes. Jonathan Fleckenstein actually stayed with us back in 2019. Okay. That's, that's right. how yeah. we got associated. Okay. And then Lance and uh, his fiance Julie uh, yes. came over. And Wonder just good people. Love them to great death already. People. Yeah, it's that they're. Lance great was people. like, okay, he he sat in my massage chair and he said, okay, so who do we have to trade for me to stay here? Yeah, <laughs> that's all. <laughs> we, we were nice. we were gonna we were gonna trade and Lan- we we're gonna trade for Lance, Julie, and Fleck, so we could you know send a couple of people off there. Well, we we thought about sending Garrett Tawney with uh, AJ Clayton, right? But we didn't want to do. We didn't want to do that, to, do that, to, Roswell. that to Roswell. Yeah. So. So. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. No. I was gonna say, well, we'll be trading a. I was like, we'll be trading a pitcher. Well, we said, well, we'd be trading a pitcher, pitcher for a pitcher, and I was like, well. What about a radio still, guy? We could have traded him. We could have traded oh, Joe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that would have been a good trade. With Garrett and Joe for. Just those three. I don't care if they have okay. a radio guy or not. We'll we'll get by. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> we'll get by. <laughs> so yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah. Great people, Lance and Julie, and uh, we hope to see them again. And um, yeah, we're already good friends with them, and we hung out with them. They came over the Fourth of July thing, and they come over. Came, of course, came over um, through the uh, next night, or n- not the next night, night, but night after. You know, like on the rain out. They came over for the rain out. Yeah, that was the night after. after. They came over again, and after Roswell kicked Garden, said he's sorry ass, and so, yes, they did. Yeah, so if, uh, that shows you how much this season's been going. Which, by the way, this season, what we when we talked to you back on June nineteenth, when on episode thirty four, the season was going relatively well. Mm-hmm. It the was. season is not going relatively well anymore. <laughs> Garden City has the the the, com- the common thing I've been hearing, the common description of this team I've been hearing is Jekyll and Hyde, and that's pretty much how it is. We would show off in one game, we'd look like the best team in the Pecos League, and the next night we'd look like absolute crap. Yep. And I mean absolute crap. Every single time. Eight, seven, eight fielding errors, team the opposing team would win by 10, 15 runs. You know, it's just, it's stupid. Absolutely stupid, you know. So. And for those wondering, there is no run rule in the Pecos League. No, no. This, the yep. games could go on forever, and they have. Trust me, they have. Yeah. Uh, earlier this year, we had a game last uh, four hours and thir- uh, four and a half hours. Yeah. 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 It was a beatdown. It was a certifiable beatdown. So it was bad, and we in Garden City was not on the winning end of that one. We've been on the winning end of certain beatdowns that took four, four and a half hours to complete. Those were okay, kinda, but <laughs> no, yeah. When you're on the losing end, it just sucks. So uh, the yes. team is, uh, I want to say, to twenty and fourteen. No. Are they that good? Let me look. At they were stuff. 18 and 14 when they got done with Roswell. Yeah, no. Um, da, 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 20 and 15. 20 and 15. 20 and 15. Okay. Well, that's still not too bad. They're four and a half games back from the lead from the Colorado Springs Snowstocks, who have uh, seven, eight rainouts to make up. So Yes, they have uh, a lot. They're 20 and yeah. six, which means Garden Garnsey has equaled their win total, but they have lost nine more games. Well, each of those losses count as a half a game, so nine minus or nine times a half, four and a half. So, um, so yeah, that's kind of where they're at right now. The trigger, the Trinidad Triggers, who they play tomorrow night and they play tonight, of course, on the road, but tomorrow night here in Garden City, they are a full six games back of Garden City, so they're ten and a half back from the division lead. And the Salinas Stockade, who they just got done murdering over the past couple of uh, over the weekend, from the f- uh, Friday Saturday. They're uh, 16 games back of Garden City, or 20 and a half on the Pecos lead, or for the division lead. Yeah. So, 
yeah, it, it's been it's been a rough year. Uh, for, well, it's you look at 2015. They're like, yeah, they're not bad. They're not good, but they're not bad. I'm like, yeah, that, that they, kind of explains how Garden City can be. They is have potential. I wish they I have potential. Sh- they have potential. But they have potential, but they just can't I, put it they together. Don't. They look lazy every night. Yeah, well, like I, some I, nights. Like they, I said, yeah. they look like they've lost their passion. Yeah, about playing the game. Mm-hmm. I couldn't a hear you them. over there. What would what, you say? I, I was going to say it looked like they uh, lost their passion about playing the game. It's like the the other team gets up by two or three runs, and they kind of like, eh. Yeah, they give it's up. It's over. Yeah, they're yeah. done. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's true. But the umpires didn't help either. Well, yeah, not uh, not Mr. I don't care or Mr. Wipes off his cap with his middle finger. Yeah. Uh, wipes the sweat off help. his brow with his middle and finger. W- and one of our buddies uh, actually umpires occasionally. Yeah. He yeah. was also at the party with us two nights in a row, Saturday and Sunday night. Right. Shane Burkholtz. Mr. Shane Burkholtz yeah. was here. Um, and, and he's even admitted watching that crew saying, God, there's something awful. wrong here. Yeah, they're, they, they're not doing... They're not watching the play. They're not watching the ball. They're not watching... It's it's like Garden City. They just don't care. Right. They just don't care. Yeah, well, we're just here to collect our paycheck and move on. Move on, yeah. And I'm, I'm not going to lie. The pay is... Below average it, at best right, for a professional Pecos league pay. It, it's professional. Yeah. It's still professional ball, though. That's the, that's the thing. Right. It's is minor that, league, but it's professional. Well, it's not even minor league. It's professional independent baseball. So it's only run yeah, it's by above a certain, the collegiate. It's one. Right. It's one certain entity paying these people. You know, and it's and it's an independently independently from any minor or major league baseball team. So it's like there's one specific league that only run by one person. And yeah, their pay is uh, uh, below average at best. Uh, I should, I, I mean, I'm one to talk. My my pay is below average at best too. Uh, when I get paid, uh, <laughs> yeah, when so, yeah. when I get paid. Um, but yeah, it's it's sad to see that, and it's sad it to see that uh, even our local guys, uh, Shane and Chris and uh, Dave and Mike, you know, they they, they do a great job. And you can tell that they actually care about the game and actually care about what they do. So it's, yeah, it's, it's a shame. You know shame. what I care about the game? You know what part I like? No. Thirsty Thursdays. Well, of course you like Thirsty <laughs> of course. Thursdays. Of Those of you that don't you know, do. if you want to come out to a Garden City win game on Thursday nights are dollar beer nights. So yeah, yeah you can get dollar beers uh, until the seventh inning. So it's And if you can go out and shag uh, foul balls, those are worth a dollar. You can return to the concession stand for a dollar, so you can trade in a baseball for a beer, a can of beer. There I thought that was just for kids. Well, well it can... is, but what you do is... <laughs> Make your kids go and get it. And yeah. then See, right. that's the thing yeah. is that you, gotcha. you have a payment system. You pay them in something else, and then you, they give you the ball, that's and right. you trade that ball for a dollar. Get you a sack of like go. Jolly Ranchers yeah. and say, yeah. bring me a ball, and I'll give you a Jolly Rancher. Jolly Rancher. Mm, I'm going to have to start bribing these kids. Yeah, you got to do it right. Yeah. You won't have to pay for a beer ever again. I know, right? Make sure you bring a bucket with you so you can collect all the balls. Yeah, I need to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And a bucket just so you can carry your beers back to your seat. (laughs) And a bucket, yeah. (laughs) Well, my granddaughter has two of them. Zach Jordan gave her one. A ball? Yeah. Now, did he sign it? No. Oh. He sat there and talked with her, though, which was kind of Oh, that was nice. Fourth of July. Oh, that's nice. It was kind of (laughs) cool. Zach's a good guy. That was a bad day. I was recuperating. Yeah, you I had a bad night. Ladies and gentlemen, I was, I was the only one. I was the only stone cold sober. One I had the, the flu because I actually had to had to work the, the next morning. Honky tonk flu. Yeah, <laughs> I actually had to work the next morning. I had to go to church and then I had to do all that <laughs> stuff. And then I had to come here to do a double head or not double hair, but a Fourth of July game. And right, God, you guys. Yeah, the double headers. We were a little. Yeah, all next, I know is I went to bed about three fifteen on Sunday morning. You're an idiot. Right, and I believe the Shane Burkholtz and our other party, Michelle, was, I'm guessing they went to bed about 5. So well, like I, I think he left, but she went to bed about 5. Yeah, yeah. I was and surprised so, to see her at the stadium the next day. Oh, I'm surprised she, she was, was even She was hurting, old. wasn't yeah. she? <laughs> yeah, she was. She, uh, she was. I was like, hey, you're alive, and she's like, barely. <laughs> yeah, I contacted her last Thursday, and I said, how are you doing? She goes, I'm just now getting back to normal. <laughs> 
Oh, wow. So I text her on Friday night and I said, you know, I'm sitting there thinking I might need something to drink. And she says, I'm just now thinking that. I'm just now well enough to do that. So it took you a week to get better? That's what wow. happens when you get old. But that's baseball. That's, yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> not even close. We're not even talking about baseball anymore. But anyways, uh, yeah, so it's. I rounded the bases. Yeah, no, you didn't. Yeah, I started with beer. Uh, yeah. Then went to double jacks. Yeah, but you got thrown out stretching fireball. a double into a triple. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> see what I did there? Um, yeah. Uh-huh. Good. <laughs> so, yeah, but that's that's kind of what's been going on. Garden City base, Garden City win baseball. It's it's been rough ish. I mean, like I said, Jekyll and Hyde will play well one night and look like shit the next. So and so, what has your observation been since you've stood here in the stands, the one that yells the most? Because I can hear it with the door shut in the press box. I don't know. <laughs> Me? Yeah. yeah you. Me yelling? Yeah. You yell. Yes. Yeah. I've heard sailors cuss while I was in the Air oh, Force. I d- no, that was not me. That yeah. was somebody else. <laughs> sure about that? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm denying it. We're, yeah. we're going to find out fifth. when bowling league night happens. <laughs> no, these boys. Yeah, I agree with him. The Jekyll and Hyde one night play good. And then next night trying to figure like out who they are the next night. I'm like, Yeah. Really? Not the same team. And it, it would it's, literally be against the same team. Like, yeah. it would, it, same opposing exactly. team, but. No, we, it's like they just didn't know how to play baseball the next day. All I can say is thank God that we got a new puppy because he saved me from having to come out here and watch that. True. Well, my puppy didn't save me. He was out here too, and yeah. yeah. Ours was, had kennel cough, and so. That's right. <laughs> I was babying him. Babying him. Baby yeah, it's like the boys play a good one night, and then, oh, like they're hung over the next day. They probably they are. probably I mean, were. This is it's just silly. Well, the thing <laughs> That's is, what it looks like. The thing is, I, well, the other night after Take the game, the, uh, I went. You know, after Garden City almost lost against Salina, they almost tried to get the game away. Yeah. Um, I did go to. I did go pick up some Applebee's car side to go, and after a certain time, you have to actually go inside the bar to pick up your order. So I did. All around the bar. Yep. Garden City win players. Yeah. Some Garden City, some Salina, but yeah, yeah. What bar are we talking about? Applebee's. Oh, yeah. that's not a bar. Yeah, that's well, not a bar. Well, there is a bar, but yeah, so. Don't yeah. they have rats? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. that's, yeah. that's the inside joke, yeah. <laughs> so, nice. Yeah, the, the, those, I, I don't, I, that well, one's that's for the, you, Fleckenstein. Well, that's the thing is. is that, that one's for yeah, you. Yeah, I was going to say, Fleck uh, will probably listen to this, but I know somebody who won't is Garrett Toddy, so I know the fact that we can probably get away with saying that Garrett Applebee's has rats Toddy will probably be somewhere in the introduction <laughs> of oh the game goodness. tomorrow night. <laughs> How funny. Everybody, uh, everybody in the stands will be confused. Garrett will look at me, and I'm not sure what will happen at that point. Well, so he, could, he could flip me off. He could. Yeah. He could shake his head. He could do whatever. You know. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see what happens. I'll, I, I will. I will send. I was like, I will record it and send it to Fleck, Lance, and Julie, and I want them to. I want them to t- bask in the, bask in the joke. In okay. His <laughs> that's pure awesome. in his pure rage. It would be awesome. But yeah, that's that's Garden City Wind in 2021. That is. I mean, shoot. Uh, Garden City wouldn't have been in existence since 2015. And, um, I mean, that 2015... Uh, Snipes, do you even remember some of the 2015 team? I remember the uh, first night it rained horribly. It was at late part of May. I think I want to say it was the uh, Memorial Day weekend. No, well, it was their, their opening day was May 19th, 2015. Oh. And it was cold. And I oh, mean, see, I don't cold. remember the cold. I remember a downpour. It, it did. It did rain, but and not not a downpour. It did rain, but it was. I think first pitch temperature was thirty seven. Oh wow. wow! This is this is late May. Yeah, this is and it's it was cold for opening day. Well, now I remember a Fourth of July when the high was thirty six. Well, that wasn't that particular Fourth of July, but no, but yeah, yeah, that was. I remember that one because I was having a party on the patio and. This team... Wow. In July? Yeah, I want to say it was 1990 or 1991. I wasn't even born yet. Yeah. Um, Anyways, (laughs) 2015, uh, 
this team kind of was okay. And they somewhat sucked, but they also well, we were excited. We had baseball. They tried to they tried to pull it together. Really, um, I think they won what seventeen of the last twenty two games. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. It was. Yeah. It was starting to get a little bit more exciting. And uh, and Garden City did end up last in the division. Yay! Uh, so it was against the that, that was the, back then. It was the Las Vegas train robbers, and not that Vegas, but Las Vegas, New Mexico. Oh, okay. So the Las Vegas, New Mexico train robbers. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it was it was a good it was a uh, it was a good what ending year to did the season. We, we also had a team from Great Bend called the Boom. That was next year. That was the 2016 20, team. 20, yeah, the so. Great Bend Boom or something like that. Yeah. One year they were a one year team. Yep, a one year team. One and done. Uh, yeah. That's that's infamous with the. Uh, I Pecos believe their series. uniforms were orange. Orange and oh, purple. Orange. Orange, yeah. and purple. Yeah. orange and purple. Yeah. Orange and purple. Terrible clash of colors. I hated it so wow, much. Wow, that's... Yeah, it was awful. We've um, seen a lot of teams go up and down. Well, and then there was the Topeka train robbers. That was when they were the uh, Topeka train robbers in 16. Right. And, so. six, and and then now they're Bakersfield, California. They became the Bakersfield train robbers, I right. want to say, in either 17 or 18. Okay. But, yeah. Uh, the Great Bend Boom... Uh, Alpine, yeah, Great Bend. Well, that's the thing is we face. You know how we face the line a lot this year. Yeah, we were the same way with Great Bend, but we spent we sp- right. we played Great Bend constantly, and it was um, nice because people from Great Bend. It's not that far. They would drive down here and sit in the stands and and watch their team. Yeah, no matter how bad they were, they watched because they were this, they were, they were witnessing awful. professional baseball for the first time. Uh, you know, a team named after their town and. I don't know where the boom came from, but I don't, I don't know what boom has yeah. to do with Great Bend, but you know because that's what the team did. It boom, <sighs> it no, <laughs> went away. Yeah, yeah it, it went away. I, that, I was gonna say it didn't boom at all. It went. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it went. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yep. No, I'll tell you this: Great Bend, the Great Bend boom could have been beaten by Salina this year. This year's Salina team is god There's, awful. Right, but oh, they're scrappy. But this team, yeah, they but they, they, they're scrappy. Great oh, Bend was n- goodness, but Salina, Salina this year could have beaten Great Bend Boom sixteen easily, easily. Well, I can tell you right now, the Mountain South Division is a lot scary. More, yeah, a lot better than any team in the North Division. Well, we talked about the Roswell Invaders. They're in last place in their division and yeah. not by much. Right, not by much, and. They took care of Garden City handily. In fact, Easily. if we Easily. didn't have a rain out, I would have suspected them sweeping they Garden probably City. Probably could have swept. Uh, I believe you're yeah. right. They yeah. probably would have. By the way, the Southern Division won the All Star Game. If you wanted to know that. Oh, I forgot about the All Star. What a game. shock, huh? What was the final? Uh, I want to say it was like nine to two or something like that. Okay. Yeah, we sucked. Uh, no, or North North Division sucked. That's what yeah. Garden City's part of the North Division. Those that don't know. Aww. Yeah, the Division South. Um, you know how I said, okay, so there's the division leader. Our division, there's the division leader, Colorado Springs Snow Sox. Garden City's four and a half games back. Trinidad's ten and a half games back. And Salina is 20 and a half games back. Here's the Mountain Division of South. Tucson's at the top at 24 and 10. Santa Fe's five and a half games back. Alpine's seven games back. Roswell's eight games back. Wow. It is, that a, is tight a tight division. Yeah, it is. I mean, wow. uh, m- much less Tucson has a has a fairly safe five and a half game lead at twenty four and ten, but the battle for second place right now is only separated by th- uh, two and a half games or less. Yeah, that's, that's crazy. That's scary. Mountain Division South is, I think, going to be your Pecos League champion if nothing drastically changes. I mean, Colorado Springs is good, but they, they, I, I've seen Colorado Springs. They will not beat Tucson, and they will not beat Alpine. Right. They'll, they, I, I don't even think they can beat Roswell, for that matter. I don't, I don't I think Roswell can beat Colorado Springs, even. So, yeah, that's a close division. Santa Fe, yeah, they'll, they'll probably beat Colorado Fuego. Springs, too. Santa Fe, Santa, Fuego. Santa Fe, the Santa Fe, Fuego. Fuego. Uh, <laughs> oh, my by the way, you Some know, of these gr- na- where do they come up with these names? Oh, they used to have the White Sands Pupfish. The White Sands Pupfish. What the That's heck right. is that? Is that is White Sands, New Mexico. A yeah. pupfish? Yeah. There isn't even fish in White Sands. <laughs> it's all <laughs> sands. That's it's exactly why. Right. But it's a pup. 
And Ala- <laughs> uh, by the way, that's that's uh, Alabagordo, New Mexico. Those yes, of correct. you that don't know, right. okay. white, that's Alabama White Gordo. Sands, but yeah. yeah. Near the White Sands Missile Range. Right. Yeah, that's something else. Where yesterday, uh, of this recording, <laughs> Richard Branson oh, launched that's right. himself into space. Well, that's right. He got with three other passengers. They orbited uh, basically over New Mexico into space, and then they came back and landed, and it was... Uh, it was quite interesting. I got Nailed to watch it, it on YouTube, uh, live on YouTube, and it was quite interesting, you know, because the guy, he, he foot, footed all this money to build this spaceport in New Mexico, and he, oh, wow. and he's been, for 17 years now, he's been working on this mothership, this huge airplane that hauls the spacecraft, and they hauled it up to about 50,000 oh, yeah. feet. They launch from that point. That way, they're out of the Earth's gravity. Get up, and once they get into space, the plane flips in half so that it flips over onto its its uh, roof so that everybody, all the passengers can view what Earth looks like from that. And oh, then, the and top, then yeah. as it starts falling into the Earth's atmosphere, the plane straightens itself back out, and it becomes a glider. And the two astronaut pilots... And we'll land the plane back on that same runway they took off for them. And it's, it's quite interesting because they really don't go very far. They just go very high. And uh, at the whole point of this is so that people could buy their way to take a trip into space. Oh, that is too cool. Right. And then you get the designation of as an astronaut because you have now been in space. Been in space. So it's, it's, anyway, that was quite interesting. That happened right outside White Sands, New Mexico. Oh, nice. And that was your aviation minute brought yeah. to you by Snipes. So. <laughs> totally un, uh, uncharacteristic of the topic. So, anyway. yeah. Anyways. It was in New Mexico. Yeah, but not baseball. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about space and aircrafts and stuff space, like that. Baseball. Okay. Spaceball. <laughs> I'm just saying good for him. Good for him. Yes, yeah. good for him. Good for yes. spending those billions and billions and billions of dollars. Billions and billions and, and billions. billions. Goodness. <laughs> Awesome. Uh, Just awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> okay, Bill. Um, anyways, 27. Yeah, he's really loud. Yeah, he is. Uh, and he interferes with my job, which is which sucks because my mic is louder than his. Um, oh, my. Yeah. So, well, I was going to say 2016 was the first winning season of the Garden City win. They won the Mountain Division North. Yes, um, I remember that. That year. Um, they actually, it was fun. It was fun. I actually got to call that game. Uh, here at Clint Liner, they were down by two runs, uh, or no, they're down by one run, t- uh, bottom of the ninth, and uh, Clay Ardeezer, our, our cleanup hitter, slugger, slugger he, I think he, le- he led the team in RBIs with like 79, and which is a lot, because, you know, for a, for a season that's only two months long, 79 RBIs. That's a lot. You know how much you have to hit to... Jeez. Ridiculous hitter. I, I'm surprised he even stayed with the team as long as he did because yeah. he was ridiculous hitter. And he hit a screamer over the center field wall, which I, I don't think still – I don't it still hasn't landed. That was back in 2016, so I, it still hasn't landed. Walked off for the division title, which was pretty cool. So Now, 2017-2018 were complete We don't want to talk about 2017 or 2018, especially they, 2018. Holy crap. Uh, I think they won one game that year. Uh, eleven. Oh. Thank you very much. Eleven. Oh, <laughs> it had a one in well, there it. There was a one there. <laughs> one, one and a one. Uno. Yep. Their their last win of the season came at the hands of three wild pitches in a row. They walked off on three wild pitches. Oh, a walk wow. off walk. A walk off wild pitch. Wild pitch. Wild pitch. Walk. Wow. To win sixteen to fifteen <laughs> against Alpine. Which is, believe it or not, I believe our only win against Alpine. Or no, and, 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 except last year. Last year we beat Alpine a handful of times. So, yeah, yeah no, that's stupid, stupid. And under the new rules of the Pecos League, you're not allowed to veteran-laden your team. No. And that's what Alpine has always done, and that's why they always went won to the, really won good. the, the really well. titles. Yeah. At like last uh, 2019, they had a, such a veteran-loaded team. We knew that when Garden City went ahead and and won enough to be in the playoffs, we knew them going down to Alpine wasn't going to end up very well. No, nope. so. it's going to huh. be rough. 
But yeah, yeah. we uh, 2019 was a better year. Uh, it was our second winning season. Uh, we won, uh, we, which was, and it was also our largest. We, uh, our winning season back in 16, we were 38 and 26. Uh, two two years ago, which was the last time Garden City Wind never played baseball here at Clint Lighter prior to this year, we went 42 and 20. So it was a much more dominant team, a lot more fun to watch. A, a lot of players coming in from the national championship team. Yeah. The Pecos League championship from Bakersfield, California. Bakersfield, they came here. High Desert, yeah. Right. Some and of those guys who played, gar- played in Garden City. Right. And, and so, so that's what uh, I think fueled, really helped. It fueled the win, uh, fueled the wind and uh, uh, got into the playoffs for the second time in league in team history. Uh, got to the wild card round against Roswell, and Roswell respectively spanked us in the wild card round. So, yeah, we didn't win a single playoff game in 19. So we only stand to have won one playoff game in our five year history. So. Right. And now Garden City did play last year. However, they played in the bubble, the quote in unquote Houston. bubble. Yeah. The, so the Pecos League, since it was you know COVID restrictions and all that. In Texas, there was hardly any COVID restrictions. So in Houston, they all gathered the te- quote unquote teams together with all their, you know, it's Roswell, Alpine, uh, Tucson, and uh, all those all those teams got together in Houston. So there was no games anywhere else except Houston. And um, the Garden City Wind were actually called the were actually the Salina Stockade. Uh, so the Garden City Wind weren't, weren't actually in name in Houston last year. So uh, they were the Salinas Stockade led by what was our manager at the time, David Peterson. And they got to the Pecos League Championship to lose to Tucson. So, And so Tucson is, once again, I think probably going to be your Pecos League Championship again. Champions again for the third year, for the third third time in Five years, okay. But what about the Pacific League? Because if Tucson takes the North and the South, they're going to have to play the Pacific part. Bakersfield, of the Martinez, right. yeah. How are they looking? The Pacific N- part of it. Bakersfield currently leads is currently the division leader, which we all thought was probably going to happen. Um, let me get actual numbers here. Because uh, we don't talk a lot about the Pacific League. Well, they don't matter. Because they, well, they, <laughs> they, they still are part of the Pecos They League. are part of the Pecos League, but they don't matter. Because uh, <laughs> we don't see them. Uh, we won't see them unless we are in the Pecos League Championship. Yep. Bakersfield currently leads their division 21-3. and three. Wow. So, wow. yeah, they, they are, they're really good. Um, following not so very closely behind, five and a half games back, the Martinez Sturgeon. Uh, at 11 games back is the San Rafael P- Pacifics, Specifics, Pacifics. Monterey Amberjacks follow behind them uh, by a game. Uh, behind them by half a game is uh, the Wasco Reserve. Uh, and then bringing up the rear, Santa Cruz Seaweed. The Santa Cruz Gavin Newsom's. <laughs> they're, they're being recalled. Oh, my. Well... <laughs> They're scum at the bottom of the ocean, seaweed. Well, yeah, seaweed. Or they could have been called the barnacles. So, <laughs> the bar- that, would that would have been, been cool. actual would be- scum. So, yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's kind of where where we're at in yeah, this so season. Yeah, so it kind of sounds like uh, Tucson's got a one way trip to the championship. Yeah. And and I drove by Tucson Stadium. Gorgeous. Yeah. It, it almost looks like a major league baseball stadium. Some of those stadiums look pretty. Well, have you been to? Cuckernaut Field in Alpine? I, I know, but I've seen it. Oh yeah, it's... Uh, yeah. There is actual a documentary on YouTube about Cuckernaut Field in Alpine, Texas. You know, because they started out. I mean, like in the twenties. Yeah, the Alpine Cowboys started out in the twenties. I don't know what league they were in, but they've been around forever. It's been. It's the only Pecos League team that is independently owned and operated. That's correct. Oh wow! The Alpine In fact, the, the, cool. the zero six that you see here is that what it is? A zero six? Yeah, it's that the, is the actual branding for the ranch. The rancher that owns, owns the, team. the team. So yeah, it's yeah. Right. And that's the reason why Alpine was able to keep some of those veteran players was because they're actually signing them to three year contracts. Right, and then paying and them. Paying them. 
pretty all right, you know. Right, because the rancher was doing that. Yeah, right? he was. He's paying. Yeah, he's paying his money out of out of his own pocket for the for the team. So yeah, because he could do that. And but we don't really have that much around here. We are held together by sponsors, our our, our team sponsors, which there are a lot of them. We do have nights where. Um, Sponsors will actually bring and, people to the ballpark, and will, and of course, all of our sales, our ticket sales, our concession sales, our beer sales, all of that portion goes to pay the team. It, all right. of we're, we're self sufficient here in Garden City, so right. And and you got to remember that these players are not from Garden City. No, uh, none, none of, of them. Uh, no, none of none them. Of them. We got only two pla- only one is from Kansas, right? And state of Kansas. That's really two of them right? are from yeah. Yeah. Right. Two of them are from Venezuela. So yeah, it's not even. You got players from all around, just all around the world, really, right. that come here to play baseball and spend their summer, yeah, chasing the dream, trying trying to move up and trying to maybe one day hopefully play for a major league team. So and baseball is a tough. It's a hard knock life. You're not gonna. The some of the some of the guys that are drafted out of high school or out of college to go play for a major league team are lucky because they're already up there. They already have a chance. But some of these guys that are not that great have to spend time to become better and uh, play for independently independent te- uh, leagues like the Pecos League or the Frontier League or the American Association or the Pacific League. You know. Whatever, whatever the case may be, they've got to work for it, and uh, regardless, and they don't, they don't get the opportunity to maybe get drafted, maybe, but so they got to try to play well, hope they get recognized, and they can move up. So, and that's Pecos League. Pecos League is the lowest level of professional ball out there. Like this is your last chance. It's kind of a last chance you, but it's it's last chance baseball, professional baseball. So. There you go. That's okay. That's the Bakers League Garden City win. They are, like I said, twenty and fifteen on the year, and okay. we'll see. They can do it. We'll see what happens with the they Garden City win. Pull their head out. Hmm. They can pull right. their head out of their ass. Yep. Most games, then they might actually make the playoffs and yep. have a chance. So. I know Can Equip Girl's gonna come here every night. Yes, I will. It be doesn't here. matter. Yeah, nope. she's always here. I tell I'm you, I'm always here. here. Coming so, out for a yeah. game, so come, I mean, if you're in and Turn around Garden on. City, they want you want to come out for a baseball game. Six dollars a ticket. You can six dollars to get in. It's a lot of fun. Six dollars, you can get a a dog and a drink, or a dog and a beer, or whatever you know, whatever the case may be. You can come out. It's it's cheap entertainment, especially for the family. You want to come out here? You can come out here. Bring out the whole family. You can spend. You can even tailgate. You could tailgate. Mm-hmm. We don't tailgate, but we don't. Like, we nobody tell nobody tailgates. Nobody. But I think the first year I did tailgate, Gus and I tailgate. Yeah, that's right. We did. We need to do that. That sounds like a great. Sounds idea. Sounds like a good idea. I think we should have an official Power Surge Media tailgate. Yeah. There you go. There we go, man. That, we that would, would be awesome. We just bring in stuff. Get everybody tanked up on the same hot dogs they serve here. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's true. We, we we could be taking away the sales of the Garden City Wind, which I don't want to do because I do work for the Wind. We are self sufficient, so without hot dog sale, without consensus sales, ticket sales, beer sales, well, how about this ribs? team would not exist. We'll just do ribs, barbecue yeah. ribs. But you're still taking away the concessions, just from the us that you right. would just ate. You would just have to, yeah, you just buy out the beer. Not from everybody, just buy out the beer. Us. Yeah, just us. Just us. Yeah. We may even have some adult beverages. You know who's also self-sufficient? Power Surge Media. So if, oh, you yes. wanna, if you want to donate to the show, like I said, uh, you can go to our Facebook page. On there is a Venmo and Cash App That's right. and donate to the show. There's no official donation center. There's no Patreon. There's no GoFundMe. We're, we do this because we want to, and I am lucky to have the equipment I have and that I don't. I don't have to finance anything. I, I'm so yeah. We do this strictly for fun. If you want to donate to Power Surge Media, please do, um, and that's how you can do it. Venmo, Cash App, at JB Surge, and uh, and also and anyway, and also if you want your business to, if you want to promote your business on the show as well, um, whether being a support sponsor or 
an actual paid sponsor, you can also go to our Facebook page. Our phone number is on there, and uh, also our uh, just you can message us on Facebook, and I'll see it, and we can get you set up however you want. If you want to just mention your name, or if you want to actually pay for something, hey, cool. And if it's just you, your business, it doesn't matter. Give us a ring, and uh, all that information is on our Facebook page. Thanks for joining us for episode 35. We'll be back with you after baseball season's over, so stick on our Facebook page. Go check it out, and make sure you stay up to date with all of us here uh, for Uncaged. For Snipes, Ken Equip Girl, I'm JB Surge. Well, we'll see you, well, whenever we get to you. After baseball season, probably. We'll see yes. what happens. So. Yeah. See you, bye. Thanks for listening to Uncaged. Tune in next week for more. This has been brought to you by Loving's Moon, Tim and Jerry's Auto Sales, Garden Bowl, American Gratitude, Patrick Dugan's Coffee House, and AAA Loans and U-Haul.